Aliens from a distant solar system are swarming over the planet Humanus. They're kidnapping humanoids and mutating them into a permanent part of their alien force. Oh man, well, that makes you the captain of the spaceship Defender. And your mission is to destroy the aliens before all of the humanoids are transformed into mutants. You score points for each alien you destroy, and for each humanoid that you save. So try not to shoot the humanoids. You start with three ships and with three smart bombs. If a defender collides with an alien, or is hit with an alien mine, it explodes. The number of lives and number of smart bombs are displayed at the upper portion of the screen. The aliens attack in waves, each becoming more difficult. The alien force is comprised of different types of ships. Landers, bombers, swarmers, baiters, mutants, and pods, all having different point values. Now the landers appear first. They kidnap humanoids. If you can destroy the lander while they have the humanoid, and the humanoid falls to the planet, you get 500 points, plus 150 points for shooting the lander. But if you can capture the humanoid and return him safely to the planet, you get 1,000 points. Now the bombers, they land mines to trap you. Swarmers are housed in pods. They're released several at a time. Each time a pod is destroyed. I hate those things. Now baiters appear at the end of each wave. Especially if you're taking too long to complete a level, and they move fast. If a lander captures a humanoid and gets to the top of the screen, the humanoid turns into a mutant. Now the mutant will follow you and can be very annoying and difficult to destroy. A smart bomb destroys everything on the screen, but you'll want to use them sparingly. You only have three. Now you will get one with these 10,000 points along with another life. You'll also earn the point values for destroying the aliens that were on the screen at the time you used the bomb. Hyperspace enables the defender to disappear and reappear back somewhere else on the screen. But sometimes this can be dangerous as a matter around you can blow up your spaceship. There's also a scanner at the top of the screen, which displays your position and the position of the aliens that you have to destroy. It definitely helps to know where they are sometimes, and the scanner can be useful. This game is fast paced. And I'll be honest, I don't use the original Intellivision controller to play it. I can't imagine how difficult this game would be playing with the original controller. My hats to anyone that's good with this game using the original controller. While it's not my favorite port of Defender, I do enjoy playing it and I think it's well done for the Intellivision. If I had to give it a rating, I'd give it a three and a half stars for overall playability and presentation. Well, that wraps it up for my look at Defender for the Intellivision. So what do you think of Defender for the Intellivision? Let me know in the comments. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss when we post new videos. So with that, have an awesome day, and we'll see you on the next one.